Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you find these sessions useful and subscribing to channel. So recently, I was asked by one of my customers, uh, they wanted to use uh, backup services of Azure, and uh, they were curious about what kind of alert notification and uh, reporting capabilities Azure Backup provides. So I thought uh, I'll create uh, one video, and hopefully it will be useful. So if you know about Azure Backup Services or Azure Business Continuity, the service that uh, which is associated with it is Recovery Service Vault. So if you go and type in Recovery Service Vault, it, it will take you to that service. And uh, creating a vault is pretty straightforward. You go and click on Add. Pick the subscription. The resource group you want to deploy, you need to name the vault. You pick the region, and you just review and create. It's that straightforward. I've already created one with the name RS3, so let me just go inside. Now, when it comes to configuring the alert and uh, reporting capabilities, the one place I want to go is under monitoring. I have uh, backup alerts, so let me just go and expand this. And I have this configure notification option. So if I go and click on this, the one that you'll see is under the off state if you're doing it for the first time, if you click on on, you can give the recipient email address, so the person who is in charge for this service, and you can have multiple uh, email address separate by semicolons. And then you can specify what kind of notification will be generated based on these three conditions. So you have uh, critical warning and information. So if your backup or restore fails, that will come under the critical category, so that will generate an email and you'll get the email. Uh, if your backup are succeeded with some warning, then also you'll also get some sort of uh, email notification. And then there's also some sort of uh, general information, but not specifically for any successful backup. But these are the three categories under which uh, uh, I will say a notification will be generated and it will be sent to the email address which we have for it. And as we said, that you can have multiple. So that's the first thing I want to configure for sure. I will come out of this and close because I've already done. You can also do the same thing for your site recovery. So Azure Site Recovery is a product that generally will use for business continuity or for DR kind of process. And for that also, I can specify the email notification, right? But these are the two things definitely I want to do for backup and DR perspective. Now, other thing I just want to specify here is that uh, under monitoring, you can also configure diagnostic settings. If I go and uh, expand this, I can go and click a uh, diagnostic settings. If I go and click on this, I need to uh, give it a name like any other service. And based on what logs I want to funnel, uh, I can specify, right? For example, if I say back Azure Backup Report, the destination I can use is either log analytics, the storage account, and event hub. The important point over here is that it doesn't matter what service you use, there will be a cost associated with this. And just by experience, I will say all of these services, storage account will be the cheapest in terms of where you want the destination. So say, for example, if I want to funnel this to log analytics, I pick this. I need to pick the subscription. I need to create a log analytic workspace if I have not created. And then for the destination table, I have two options. I can use resource specific and Azure diagnostic. By default, it is resource specific. and uh, that is what Microsoft recommends because it has more capabilities. So basically the way the data will be captured in the table. So in Azure Diagnostic, all the data will be uh, will be in the in the same table. So make make a uh, distinction between different services that more complicated. So they're saying that they're going forward, resource specific is the way to go for. And also they give more information about right. The, uh, what you want to do if you're using Azure Diagnostic and Resource Specific. But important point here is you can funnel the data to log analytic. You can also funnel it to storage account. Then obviously you need to create a storage account for how long you want to keep the data. Or you can also funnel this to Event Hub. Basically, you want to maybe integrate with some other theme products or maybe other log analytic workspace. You can use Event Hub in order to do that. But it uh, doesn't matter what option you use. Uh, there will be some sort of cost associated with that. So I will come out of this because I already have a recovery service wall. 
which I created, so with the name Backup Diagnostic. And uh, if I go and expand this, you'll see that uh, I have the Login Analytics Workspace, which is associated with that. I can also edit the settings. So right now I have selected all the locks, but if you don't have maybe Azure Site Recovery, you can deselect that. Uh, it will tell you about uh, what destination table you're using and under what subscription it is using. So that's where you can configure. And once you have configured that, if I come under the or view button and scroll down, you'll see that uh, you can go to the backup reports. And right now I have not configured anything, but if I go under the subscription, check my log analytic workspace, and then if I go to the summary, once the backup has run, you'll can get uh, important information over here. But these are the steps I will configure in order to make use of the reporting and the alert and notification capability, all within Recovery Service Vault. And to be very frank, obviously, it is not the best in terms of uh, the kind of reporting that you only use to some of the other popular vendors, such as Veritas, Comwall, Veeam. But uh, definitely, if you're thinking of using this service, I will configure these uh, notifications and reporting capability under the monitoring tab so that you can get useful information and take appropriate action against them. So this was a quick video on the reporting capabilities within Recovery Service Vault. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.